Let's zoom in and take a closer look at exactly what happens when a person who is sick sneezes or coughs. These tiny droplets contain viral particles, a lot of them. The droplet can hold hundreds or thousands of viral particles, and then these float around in the air. If you breathe one of them in, the virus almost immediately begins attacking the body. And they're really, really, really good at it. We're speaking with David Belinsky. He's a medical animator who produced a video that explains how viruses attack the body and how the body fights back. We're going to walk you through the fascinating process step by step and explain why COVID-19 is different than typical flu viruses. Once inside, here's the moment a virus actually infects the body. These spikes on the virus, they act as keys, allowing them to unlock the door and enter a healthy human cell. The cell thinks it's importing something that it might need nutritionally. Like water or glucose, but this is something sinister. Viruses have exploited this and they're basically the, the guy who knocks on the door saying pizza delivery and it's the land shark. As the virus enters, it is quickly able to instruct the cell's nucleus to make new viral particles. And so the cell gets tricked into making tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of proteins that it can't use itself, but the virus can use to self-assemble into new viral particles. Once all the parts are together, the new viruses emerge. They pop off and fly over to a new cell and infect a new cell. The virus that causes COVID-19 has been described as particularly clever and devious when compared to other coronaviruses. The thing about COVID-19 is that it has a number of different proteins that really haven't been seen before. For instance, in the common cold, the virus will attach to receptors in the upper airway and throat, and that's it. And so all of the infection takes place up here, up here, up here, and it doesn't cause damage as much as it causes discomfort. The COVID-19 attaches to those receptors in the upper airway, but it also re attaches to similar receptors deep in the lung. This can in turn cause respiratory failure. So how does the body fight back? It's, it's an amazing process. The body's plasma cells create antibodies. They are there to clean up the mess. They act as markers, attaching to viruses and making it easy for other cells to identify the invader. Uh, T cells, which are the soldiers of the immune system, will identify this antibody attached to a virus and zap it. There are 100 trillion cells in a human body. If a virus invades a couple hundred million of them, do the math, it's a lot of virus particles. The whole issue here is how do you keep virus particles that I'm making from infecting you?